horizontal tangents. Find the points on the curve x squared divided by 9 plus y squared divided by 16 equals to 1 at which the tangents are parallel to x axis. Now when we say tangents are parallel to x axis it means what? So we are saying parallel to x axis. That means what is the slope? That means the slope is equal to 0, right? It's a horizontal line. We have given the function. We can do derivatives with respect to x and equate the derivative to 0 to find the points, right? So let's do that. So we have the function which is x square over 9 plus y square over 16 equals to 1. Now if I differentiate with respect to x on both the sides, what do I get? I get 2x over 9 plus 2y over 16 dy dx. We are differentiating with respect to x on both sides. Right? So at this stage we differentiated with respect to x on both the sides. So we get this. Now since we need the points where the slope is 0, let's equate dy dx equals to 0. Now, so let's first solve for it. So what do we get? dy dx from here can be written as, we can write here 2y over 16 dy dx is equals to minus 2x over 9, right? So let me take this to the right side and solve it further. So from here we get dy dx is equals to minus 2x over 9 times 16 over 2y. Now, so that gives us So 2 and 2 cancel. So we get 16 over 9 times x over y with a negative thing, right? So that is what we have. Now we need to find points where dy dx is 0. So dy dx will be 0. If I say dy dx is equal to 0, it implies that x is equal to 0, right? That means x equals to 0. So that is a point where x is equal to 0. Now if x is 0, what is y? So for that, let's substitute x equals to 0 in the equation itself, which is x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16. So we get, if x is equal to 0, then we get 0 over 9 plus y squared over 16 equals to 1, and that gives us y equals to plus minus square root of 16 which is plus minus 4 and therefore the points are x value is 0 and the y value could be plus or minus 4 so there are two points so that is the solution right which we get for the given equation now if some of you know this is also equation of an ellipse right so let me just sketch this here now in this ellipse, if I put y equals to 0, that means I get the x-intercepts, right? Then x will be square root of 9, which is plus minus 3. Let us say this is my plus and minus 3. And if I put x equals to 0, I get the y-intercepts, which will be at plus minus 4. Let us say these are plus minus 4. So we get kind of an ellipse, which is kind of like this. Okay, not so good, but still. Now, when we are looking for horizontal tangent lines, then what are we looking for? We are looking for these points, right? So, at these points, you know, x is 0, and the y value is plus and minus 4. So, if you sketch the function, it's like very obvious that the horizontal tangent should be at these points, correct? So these are the vertices of your 
ellipse. If I ask for vertical tangents, then we'll have these points. Do you see that? So that is how these questions can be solved. Well, so you have a geometric representation of the same. So that makes things more clear. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.